चालो चालो हेलो शुड आई स्टार्ट a very pleasant evening to all the respected jury members and all the chartered accountant members and non members present here i am ch chinmay pathak and today with absolute this is an absolute honor to be in front of all of you it's a very very uh, absolute honor for me i have no words for that so this tool this final tool only three pillars i had in my mind to present this first absolute accessibility this tool should be on the desk of every chartered accountant present in india abroad whatever is who is who is into income tax secondly absolute zero cost it should not incur any type of cost it should be completely free and third is absolute quality the responses given should be so absolute so absolute that it can be relied like with by with blind eyes so these three pillars i have and you will be amazed i know how it feels to sit from 8:30 till here and i respect your time but this is going to be something very absolute something amazing so what happens is a chartered accountant who is into traditional practice or a chartered accountant who has freshly passed suddenly a notice under income tax act comes for, to his client and the client takes up the entire office on head so this is the notice reply to it reply to it and what the chartered accountant is doing he is basically busy into everything he's uh, he's into gst into roc into income tax everything so what happens is he also starts collecting information from the client based on merits so okay sir what is the document uh, required and uh, what has been the itr file what has been the income tax disclosed every everything uh, he starts going into but what about the legal lacunas that the notice has many a times the notice the communication that the income tax had sent is itself is bad in law it has no relevance in the eyes in law uh, eyes of law but not every chartered accountant is aware of it because the reason is that this lacunas are not into the income tax act these come on a daily basis through various judgments of the courts through various uh, circulars through various guidelines of cbdt and many many ways so to address this this is a simple tool used using customized gpt wherein it is a predefined uh, data set has been given i update it on a weekly basis my seniors who are into core litigation based on their knowledge my knowledge i have updated this and what you have to do is i will first go into the demo and then we'll go into the fundamentals just upload the notice all the notices you have received for your client upload it to the uh, chat gpt obviously by hiding the personal information like his name pan card because privacy issues are there and it will give you the exact legal issues that are there in the notice it will also rate it based on legal point of view that whether this will notice in the eyes of law uh, sustain in the eyes of law or not so that's the basic funda behind this and i will simply go and it it's uh, you just need to scan the qr code i will show at the end to access this gpt you can access at this point of time also so this is litigate i have named this litigate because it is going to aid you in your litigation uh, things whatever you have now what i will do is see it has four uh, predefined options i will not go into that i will just simply tell him if you could observe on my desktop so this is the notice that is issued by my client this is a recent notice i have i have uh, hide his name and all those thing for privacy issues but you can see these are the notices issued it's a recent one not uh, uh the one uh, which is uh, very older one if you could see these are these three belong to one client which i am going to use now and this three also belong to another client i am going to use them also and this uh, hiding is also easy i have used uh, this microsoft edge only to do this now what i will do is i will go to my, the gpt i will add these files this three and i will simply tell them analyze these for legal defects don't reveal any personal information because this is on public platform right now and see what it gives you this will show you something which is very fantastic the first one the response you just see the response first jurisdictional defect this notice should have been issued by the faceless authority has been issued by the jurisdictional lao who is the jurisdictional lao ito ward 534 bangalore it is bad in law and what is the where, from where it has known it 
see the case law, the CBDT notification. This is the notification which supports it that no communication after this date should be sent by a jurisdictional assessing officer. Second, the invocation of 153C. Search has happened on a third party. Something related to my client has been found and he has sent 148. It's not permissible. How many of you know this? It's not permissible. 153 should be used. Bombay High Court has a decision on this. I'm not going to too much technicalities, but this is the issue. Se third, lack of DIN. There is no document identification number on this notice. It's bad in law. Next, uh, it has not, the AO has sent the notice, but has not sent what material he has relied upon to issue this notice. Again, it is bad in law. The next one that comes up is that contradiction in written filing. So this uh, is something that he has found it right now that uh, the notice filing date mentioned in two of the notices are different. That's not my concern currently. But if you could just see, these are very, very issues which strike to the root of the notice itself. And if we raise this at the AO level, so what is the purpose behind all this? Why I have developed it? Can't CAGPT do it? If you try it right now with the ICIGPT, I have been using it extensively. The CAGPT is in itself a tool for advices based on the act. It never goes into this part. It never goes. You would try to upload a notice to it and ask it this question. It will not answer. It will say my data is not updated or after July 24 or whatever it is or it will try to go beyond something. But it will not address these issues. The reason being is those GPTs or whatever tools that we currently have in the market. Firstly, those not into core litigation will not afford those taxmen and all, all different types of tools which are very costly to have. Secondly, those into traditional practice are not aware of these small, small, small legal things that are on a daily basis coming up, which I'm updating into the tool on a weekly basis. And third and most important thing is that these are the things where you know your client has done something wrong. And you know that it is going to uh, hit him hard in the, de the department is going to hit him hard. These are the only saviors for you. These are the only points which will save it. So first, it's free of cost. It's, you just have to scan the QR code I'm going to show you. Secondly, you just upload the notices by uh, striking out the names. And third, it will give you this. Now, the next, the uh, a USP of this part is that it will also score it. So what do you mean by scoring? It will show you how much validity these notices have in the eyes of law to sustain, whether this will even sustain. So see, it is showing me the score is 2 out of 10. It means that th there is there is roughly, this 10 is the highest one. So notice to sustain on legal points is that this has only 2 marks for it. So it will not sustain at all. And where the data is coming from, whether it is generating something, no. At the back end, there are circulars that I have updated. At the back end, there are my observations that I have developed through practicing into litigation, the observations of my seniors. At the back end, it has case laws updated on a weekly basis. And at the back end, it also has basically how to analyze the notice, what to look when something comes up. So this is something, three pillars that I have, absolute accessibility. Every chartered accountant across India can have it on his desktop, on his online. There's no uh, tools, codes, nothing required here. And the most important thing is that since it has exhaustive data, it will not generate anything new. If something you ask him, out of the context that I have provided him, he will simply say, I don't have this information with him. Since the time permits, I would like to go to the next part. Uh, I, I would like to upload the other notices that I showed you. Again, I will tell him, analyze this for, achha, okay. Now there is one another great part is that many a times we use general English plain language for replying or we use the pre-format that we have. That does not support the contention that we have. It is, it is agreed that we need to have legal or lawful language. And this is going to generate those predetermined replies for you. So analyze this and generate reply. Now you just see the language that it uses. It will not use general English or it will not even use sophisticated words. It will only use the legal language used for replies. So if you could see, again, 148A B, defect to service of notice. If your client is not receiving 148A small b, the entire proceedings are bad in law. But what we do, we go to the portal, we see if there is this notice, we feel okay, we have received it. We have not received it. Have you received it over email? Have you received it at your registered postal address? 
If not, the notice was never served to you. Where it is covered? They are uh, basically everywhere, the, uh, whatever articles, articles by expert uh, lawyers in the market, whatever articles they publish. So these articles are also feeded at the back end so that it gives a, has a very good opinion. So, sir, with respect to the time, I will not go further, but this is the reply if you could see that okay. for your end. And those who want to access it right now, you can access it using this QR code. You could just scan it. Right. And will appeal level fee. All right. Uh, excellent presentation, Chinmayji. Just one observation which I would like to yes, share sir. because sure, the presentation sir. was amazing, and I would like to point this out yes, that uh, a lot of times what we tend to do with these kind of AI tools are we are limited to drafting. And this, what you have showcased here, is that identifying the defects in the notice of the income tax department, or any other department for that yes, matter. Sir. That's also a very important part of the litigation process. Yes. So sir. kudos for that. So no Thank questions you, from my end. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. You can also develop it or GST it. This is I have developed it for a hackathon, and I have. So Chinme, I believe this is a custom GPT, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you just told us that you have been updating this GPT on a weekly basis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So can you just let me know that you see? If I go to the custom GPT in yes, chat sir. GPT, there is a limitation of 20 files, files which I yes, can sir. upload. Yes, so sir. how did you overcome that? Sir, what I generally do, if I have, say, for example, 500 files, I merge them together and upload it. But ultimately, there would be there, there would be a time, then there would be a limitation that, okay, so your, now your limit is over, then what would you do? Sir, since this is not into the market as such for uh, marketing purpose, that's why I have yeah, I understand for the purpose that. of I AI. Understand that. This is not I, I admittedly agree, sir. But you see indirectly you are also marketing yes, this product, right? Yes, sir. Yes. By showing no, this no, QR sir. code. This is, uh, no, no I am not saying that you are uh, uh, minting money yes, out of it. Yes, what I am trying to say is, you see marketing can be of many forms also, right? Uh, no, sir. This is only for usage purpose. You yeah, can but use ultimately, it. Yeah, but ultimately you are marketing for the usage. That's what I am saying. <laughs> so what I am asking is, let's say tomorrow, maybe six months down the line, five months down the line, now this tool, uh, the, the, the limit of the database or the knowledge base of the tool, tool is over. So, so, what, so what would happen? So that certainly is a very big limitation for this as of now. But, uh, uh, and while building it also, this... Uh, but don't you think there is, a, there is a way also in the chat GPT that this limit can be overcome? Uh, sir, I haven't gone into it as of there yet. Is a, there is a, there is, it, there is it a... It must be sir. some... Had it been so, had it been so, how you, we are using CA GPT, do you think that the issue only has 20 uh, knowledge bases no, for sir, each no, and it, it's, so there, it's so there, is, there is a tool for that? It's also. completely beyond, sir. Yeah, CAGPT is completely beyond. Thank you. So can you can you uh, uh, show us a sneak peek of your uh, knowledge base? Yes, sir, sure. On how you customized it. So, sir, this is the behind right. data. Right. And, uh, Basically, all these are these are the instructions. These are the instructions. We could say the things and that okay, we generally and, uh, look at. And how did you arrive at this scoring parameters? Sorry, sir. Scoring parameters. <laughs> <laughs> sir, could you please repeat? Could you please repeat the part? Okay. No, no, no. Uh, you see, uh, you said that in your uh, this tool GPT, uh, it will give some kind of score. Yes, Two sir, out sir. of ten. So, what is the mechanism? What is? What are the? What are the? What? what are, I mean, so, sir, what are the benchmarks? Uh, qualitative factors are used. For example, if a certain issue is lacking and it is supported by the jurisdictional high court, so Bombay high court decision mm -hmm. is there, the score mm -hmm. will raise. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yes, can, sir. can you go Can you go a little bit above? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you see, you have mentioned that it should score a notice from 1 to 10, where 10 is the best and 1 is worst, right? Right. Sir. My question is how it will judge whether it's a best or is a worst. What are, what are those conditions? What are those parameters? Where have you mentioned those parameters? That's what okay. I'm asking. So, sir, this this specific part of this scoring that has I have uh, certainly not been into so much depth of it, but based on this qualitative factors that I have tested before is that so if, if something is supported by circular by mm -hmm. the CBDT and it is not there, so it will it will score it very low, like this is very bad in law. If there is nothing on its its uh, data that I have merged this PDF, so it, there are many the huge PDFs are there. If nothing is there, then it will score it high. But unless so that's a subjective part, sir. Sorry. Hmm. I please, admittedly please, please agree continue. that it's a subjective part that this uh, point are uh, this point lacks uh, clarity. Because I I believe it may also result in some kind of hallucinations. May 
Uh, so for the scoring part, it may, but that will not right. result in the qualitative points raised by it that the legal defects that are in the notices. Okay. That will surely not be any kind of response oh. beyond what is there. Thank you. Thank you. Well answered. Yes. One, one follow-up question, yes, maybe sir. just an observation. If you see on the screen, the capabilities you have enabled the web search. Niche jao, haan, uh, sir, sir, but uh, what is I have specifically told it in the command, I will, I will turn it off, but I specifically told it hmm. that all must strictly confirm to these parameters and the uploaded knowledge base. And at least what I have tried it for the purpose of this hackathon is it has not resulted in anything beyond this. Uh, at least for this hackathon, yes. Okay. Sir. And any specific reason for not choosing the preferred uh, module? Uh, you may, may must have gone with the 4.5. In the downside, there is option. Uh, no, sir. There was no such preference. I I felt it like I just created it out of curiosity. Like we will present this. Huh. Okay. So there was no like specific preference. There is no technical gauges behind it. Just based on what it should do. The purpose should be fulfilled. And main the purpose of this hackathon was to help the chartered accountant. Now it's very <laughs> unique. So it's very yeah. unique and easily implemented by all the CAs here. Yes, sir. Maybe next five minutes. Yeah. Yes. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the patience, audience. Thank you, Chinmay, for the amazing presentation.